One sunny day, an ant was busy collecting food for his colony. He was carrying a large crumb of bread on his back, and he was very proud of his strength and diligence. He came across a praying mantis, who was sitting on a leaf and watching him with curiosity. Hello, little ant, the mantis said. What are you doing with that big piece of bread? I'm taking it to my nest, the ant replied. We ants work hard to store food for the winter. We are very organized and cooperative. Unlike you, lazy mantis, who just sit around and wait for your prey to come to you. The mantis felt offended by the ant's words. He decided to teach him a lesson. He said, you think you are so smart and superior, but you are actually very foolish and ignorant. You don't know anything about the world beyond your nest. You don't appreciate the beauty and wonder of nature. You don't have any fun or adventure in your life. You are just a slave to your work. The ant was annoyed by the mantis's remarks. He said, you are wrong, mantis. I know a lot about the world. I have traveled far and wide in search of food. I have seen many things and learned many lessons. I have fun and adventure every day. I am not a slave to my work. I am a loyal and faithful member of my colony. The mantis laughed mockingly. He said, oh, really? Then prove it to me. Show me something that you have learned from your travels. Show me something that is fun and adventurous. Show me something that is not related to your work. The ant thought for a moment. He wanted to impress the mantis and prove him wrong. He remembered that he had once seen a human child playing with a magnifying glass. He had noticed that the glass could make things look bigger and brighter, and that it could also make things burn if they were exposed to the sun's rays for too long. He said, okay, Mantis. I'll show you something that is fun and adventurous. Follow me. He led the Mantis to a nearby spot where he had hidden the magnifying glass under some leaves. He said, look at this, Mantis. This is a magic glass that can make things bigger and brighter. It can also make things burn if you hold it under the sun. He picked up the glass and held it over the Mantis's head. He said, see how big and bright you look now, Mantis. Isn't this fun? The Mantis looked at himself through the glass. He saw his own eyes staring back at him, magnified and distorted. He felt a strange sensation on his head, as if something was tickling him. He said, what are you doing, ant? This is not fun. This is weird and uncomfortable. The ant ignored him. He said, now watch this, mantis. This is adventurous. He moved the glass slightly so that the sun's rays focused on the mantis's head. He said, see how you are burning now, mantis. Isn't this exciting? The mantis felt a sudden pain on his head, as if something was biting him. He screamed, stop it, ant. This is not exciting. This is painful and dangerous. The ant ignored him again. He said, now see how you are smoking now, mantis. Isn't this amazing? The mantis felt a terrible heat on his head, as if something was setting him on fire. He shouted, help me, ant. This is not amazing. This is horrible and deadly. The ant ignored him one last time. He said, now see how you are ashes now, mantis. Isn't this awesome? The mantis felt nothing at all on his head, because he was already dead. The ant dropped the glass and looked at the charred remains of the mantis. He said, see how you are nothing now, mantis. Isn't this awesome? He laughed triumphantly and walked away with his bread. He said to himself, that'll teach him to mess with me. But as he was walking away, he did not notice that he had dropped his bread near the magnifying glass. He did not notice that the sun's rays were focusing on his bread. He did not notice that his bread was burning. He did not notice that his bread was smoking. He did not notice that his bread was ashes. He did not notice that he had nothing left to eat. 
He did not notice until it was too late. And then he realized what he had done. And then he regretted what he had done. And then he cried for what he had done. But it was no use. He had lost his food. He had lost his pride. He had lost his life. The moral of the story is, for every action, there's an equal opposite reaction.